Most of the energy harvested from organic molecules during glycolysis and the Krebs cycle is stored in NADH and FADH2. These molecules give up their high energy electrons in the third phase of cellular respiration, electron transport and chemiosmosis, where most of the cell's ATP fuel is produced. The electron transport chain is an array of molecules, mostly proteins, built into the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. NADH gives up its high energy electrons to the first complex in the electron transport chain. The electrons move from one member of the chain to the next, giving up their energy as they are pulled from NADH toward highly electronegative oxygen. The energy given up by the flow of electrons is used to pump hydrogen ions from the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space. Oxygen captures the electrons in the very last step in electron transport. The last complex adds a pair of electrons to an oxygen atom and two hydrogen ions, forming water. The electron transport chain has used the energy of moving electrons to pump hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space. This buildup of hydrogen ions, like water behind a dam, stores the potential energy that was originally in the bonds of glucose molecules. The backed up hydrogen ions give up their energy when they diffuse through a special protein complex in the membrane called ATP synthase. As hydrogen ions flow down their concentration gradient, ATP synthase captures their energy to make ATP. This mode of ATP production is called chemiosmosis. Under normal conditions, almost all the ATP produced in the process of cellular respiration is manufactured by electron transport and chemiosmosis, about 34 ATPs for every glucose consumed. This illustration summarizes cellular respiration. Glycolysis and the Krebs cycle produce a small amount of ATP via substrate level phosphorylation, but most of the cell's ATP is made via electron transport and chemiosmosis when NADH and FADH2 produced in glycolysis in the Krebs cycle give up to oxygen the electrons obtained from organic molecules.